you know, I think it was a wise strategic decision that they made. If you look at what CVS is trying to do is they're trying to become a health care provider, really, and you, they have the minute clinics on site. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you have a clinic on site, selling uh, tobacco products seems to be a little bit of an issue, and of course that's an understatement. So it was, a, uh, I think, a very smart decision in terms of business. When you look at the impact that it has on their uh, organization, it's not as significant as some people might think. Uh, while it is about a loss of $2 billion a year, it's out of a total sales volume of $123 billion. So when you look at it, it's less than 2%. And, uh, uh, you know, when the news came out, I really thought they, uh, they're making the right decision. Any uh, healthcare professional would tell you that smoking probably uh, um, assists in uh, more um, health situations and problems that people have uh, more than any other contributing factor. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so when you have this anti-smoking uh, um, sort of movement uh, from, you know, not being able to smoke in public spaces, uh, restricting sales, and then you have uh, uh, physicians and, and uh, health organizations telling you that uh, smoking is probably the number one contributor to, to uh, illnesses and death, uh, this makes total sense, especially for an organization and a company that's trying to be a healthcare provider and it's trying to, to, to really uh, gain an audience in terms of what it sells in terms of uh, health and, and, and uh, wellness. For an organization that has decided strategically to be a healthcare uh, provider and, and join the healthcare market, which is a very lucrative market and is on the incline as opposed to tobacco use, which is on the decline. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's a, a superb move that they made and it looks like it was well thought out. Their direct competitors like Walgreens and others uh, are going to look at that and, and even uh, larger retailers because if, uh, uh, when you look at the numbers, most tobacco products are actually sold by convenience stores, 75% uh, in fact. So uh, large retailers, while it seems like this would be a big part of their business, it really isn't. And they're going to get uh, uh, direct or indirect pressure to get rid of tobacco products. And when I say indirect pressure, it could be by us consumers, but direct pressure could be by health organizations saying to them, look, CVS has made that move, shouldn't you be next? Uh, and, and so from a competitive perspective, I see this happening in uh, larger uh, chains uh, really across the market and not just... Uh, direct competitors like Walgreens and others. I think it comes down to the type of store or retail organization that you think you are. So CVS has obviously made a strategic decision to be a healthcare oriented uh, retail chain and you can't have that. That just doesn't go hand in hand with uh, tobacco products. On the other hand, I see other chains and other retailers actually picking up tobacco products as, because there's going to be a void in the market, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if the dollar stores uh, would start offering um, tobacco products uh, down the road.